Good morning, TikTok. Children of God, this is an urgent uh, message from the Lord. Um, I want to first start off by saying, um, for those who have been following my lives, excuse me for <clears throat> my transparency today. And if I have time before uh, this is over, I will be praying um, at the end of this. But this is urgent um, prophetic word straight from the throne. It's Revelation chapter 18. Lament over fallen Babylon. The Lord has confirmed that Babylon is officially fallen. If you are not right with the Lord, or if you're not on the Lord's side, I would advise you urgently to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and also to get on the Lord's side if you are not already on his side. And I'm not telling you, this is a warning. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling for demons mm, 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 and a haunt for every impure spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable animal. For all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her. And the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Warning to escape Babylon's judgment. Verse 4. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. Her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Pour her a double portion from her own cup. And when he is talking about that cup, if y'all know the Statue of Liberty holds that cup in her hand, he's referring to the city of New York. Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart she boasts, I sit enthroned as queen. I am not a widow. I will never more. Therefore, in one day her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine. The Lord said this will happen all in one day. Guys, get on the Lord's side. If you're not on the Lord's side, I feel sorry for you. She will be consumed by fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. Next title is Threefold Woe Over Babylon's Fall. Verse 9. When the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury see the smoke of her burning, they will weep and mourn over her. Terrified at her torment, they will stand far off and cry. So the Lord is literally saying that he's getting ready to tear that statue down. That statue coming down and everything around it. Woe, woe to you, great city, you mighty city of Babylon. In one hour, your doom has come. If you are in New York, um, I'm feeling prompted to tell you, that you might want to, like I said, repent um, and get on the Lord's side. And if if at all possible, you might want to leave and go to another area. And from what this is saying, I am dead serious. And I'm aligning his word with the events that are currently taking place as we speak. A lot of these events are taking place as we speak. If you notice the banks crashing, um, uh, the stocks market's getting ready to crash. All type of different stuff is getting ready to go down because God has left the building. 
what that means he has come out of his temple and he is here he is literally here treading the earth and doing his thing against wicked um verse 11 says the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her because no one buys their cargoes anymore cargoes of gold silver precious stones and pearls fine linen purple silk and scarlet cloth every sort of citron wood and articles of every kind made of ivory costly wood bronze iron and marble cargoes of cinnamon and spice of incense myrrh and frankincense of wine and olive oil of fine flour and wheat cattle and sheep horses and carriages and human beings sold as slaves hmm they will say the fruit you long for is gone from you all your luxury and splendor have vanished never to be recovered the merchants who sold these things are gained and gained their wealth from her will stand far off terrified at her torment they will weep and mourn and cry out so the lord is even angry at sold slaves the lord said y'all ain't gonna get no pleasure off this no more Lord said, y'all ain't going to be selling slaves no more. Y'all ain't going to be getting money off bronze, iron, marble, cargo, cinnamon, spice, none of that no more. God's shutting all of it down. And it's all going to be in a blink of an eye. And he literally said, this is all going to be in one day. If y'all have noticed, like I said, the bank crashing, God is not done. It's going down. <laughs> Woe, woe to you, great city, dressed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, and glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. In one hour, such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Every sea captain and all who travel by ship, the sailors and all who earn their living from the sea will stand far off. When they see the smoke of her burning, they will exclaim, was there ever a city like this great city? They will throw dust on their heads with weeping and mourning. Cry out, woe, woe to you, great city, where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. In one hour, she has been brought to ruin. Rejoice over her, you heavens. Rejoice, you people of God. Rejoice, apostles and prophets, for God has judged her. With the judgment she imposed on you, the Lord said that I am that He's officially releasing judgment against Babylon. Babylon is on its way down as we speak. And also, if you guys didn't know, New York is where a lot of the slavery um, is still happening as we speak under the table through the insurance companies. A lot of the insurance companies is committing um, slavery under the table secretly. And so he's very upset about that as well. The finality of Babylon's doom. Then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of a large millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such violence, the great city of Babylon will be thrown down, never to be found again. The music of harpers, musicians, pipers, trumpeters will never be heard in you again. No worker of any trade will ever be found in you again. The sound of a millstone will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The, vo the voice of bridegroom and bride will never be heard in you again. Your merchants were the world's important people. By your magic spell, as the nations were led astray, in her was found the blood of prophets and of God's holy people of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. And he's referring to them, a lot of those banks as well. Whether you guys knew it or not, a lot of those banks were built off slave blood. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader, the hearers, and the doers of his most precious word. Lord, Heavenly Father, let this word uh, move. Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now for your word. We repent right now for anything that we have done that is not like you. And we just thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen.